okay if you want to know about the uh, device information uh, it's very easy you can find just you have to click the device and then in the left hand side in the project tree devices you have to click on the device uh, then you the information will be shown okay after you click device information you you can see different things uh, information here that you can also change the information that you can change is shown editable which are shown in white and the information which is not editable it is shown in the gray so here you can change the name of the device here you can change the name IC system of 850 name of the device here you can also mention and change the addition other information like type of the relay configuration version of the relay communication version of the relay product code that I told you there's a very long product code and also short product code both are available here and the CPU type is also is available here in the upgrade button you can add some more functionality for example if you have purchased new functions and you want to add to the relay you can add here okay now uh, after finishing the information just if you click resource consumption then you will get the overall processor load here functional area load uh, here you can see which functions are added into the relay okay here you can see uh, different functions points are available uh, one thing I would like to mention here is that in Dixie 4 uh, the fun if you buy a relay you are ordering MLFP and the uh, functions are fixed once you order it you cannot change the functions if you want to add some function then you have to uh, make a separate order and if this function could be editable then the Dev Simmons will issue a new patch software you have to run that patch and you can hardly add one new item but in Dixie 5 uh, you are not ordering functions uh, you are not ordering a relay through MLFE but you, you uh, what is in your hand is uh, you have some function points for example uh, I can say I have three points so I can select uh, over current distance under frequency or uh, there is one range of functions uh, for example here you can see there are a lot of functions are available so if you order three points so you only can select three functions uh, from the range of the uh, available function okay if uh, for example you have uh, 50 function points that you have purchased so each function like for example distance we might be getting 30 points uh, or can might be getting 20 points so each function have certain number of points so if you consume your points you cannot uh, bring more functions in the relay you have to either you have to uh, um, delete one function and you can bring another one to be under certain points limit or the other option is you can buy more uh, points similarly uh, you can see here downside function points are total function points are shown and how much how many function points are used you can see also here so during your configuration you can easily see that you have passed your limit or not uh, if you go come further down then you can see that function CFC uh, also uh, points are shown here you can buy the CFC points and similarly you can show that how many CFC points how many uh, events uh, points available in in the in the relay and how how many are consumed in this way you can track the relay uh, configuration